Hi guys, uh, I got this idea to film this for uh, for you guys to watch this play out. I'm going to repaint an old kit. Now before I moved into the big model room, uh, I was building them on my uh, kitchen table at the previous house. So I wasn't airbrushing, everything was kind of packed up, so I just built uh, um, Mazinga here. One of my favorite it's, uh, robots of all time, it's, just a, it's a childhood thing. and. Um, I'm sitting here because he sits at my desk and I says, uh, I got a couple other Mazingas. I, I like to do the giant one coming out too, but I want to paint him. And I'm looking at him and I say, I should paint this guy because I just built them out of the box. I panel lined them. You know, I did what I could. See the panel lining on the on the wings and the fins. Oh, it's all panel lined. It's perfect. I mean, you know, out of the box, you know, it's a good looking kit. But after testing the turbo dork paints and seeing the dark purple, uh, I had an idea that I was going to repaint this guy. And then I said, well, maybe I'll do a little how-to on how to repaint an old kit that you've built already. And uh, this is the reason why I got the idea. This paint, you know, if you watch my last video, this color shifter comes out like this. And I'm staring at him, and, and I says, you know what? I'm going to repaint this guy. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to pick the, th the, th the three colors I might leave the wings. I might coat it with a, a matte. I have a matte varnish over the wings. And uh, I just want to do a basic repainting just to, uh, to test these paints out on uh, on a kit instead of spoons and whatnot. So uh, in the first step, we'll pull them apart. We'll show you how to pull them apart. And then uh, we will clip everything up on our little roach clips, our little uh, alligator clips. And then um, we will uh, break everything down. And then we're going to break it apart as best we could without with leaving most of it intact to make it easier on us and this will be the purple all the purple will be this color uh, I decided that the silver on his legs and his chest and these arms here is going to be a star bright duralunimum from uh, Gaia, Gaia Notes it's a lacquer and the black the rest of the black will be uh, this aqueous metal black. Let's see. You can see it. Metal black. Uh, you can't see it here. Obviously, I'll show you when we go to paint it, but uh, there we go. It's a metallic black. It's really nice. So, it'll be a, give me a chance to try these uh, more testing on these aqueous paints, which I like the original test, and uh, these turbo dorks on an actual kit. So, uh, we'll let it begin. Uh, I'll prep the area and we'll come back and we'll tear them apart and we'll begin the process All right with the body disassembled. I got all the panels. I took a picture of them all on the clips um, I don't have to spray it black to put the Color shifting purple down because this purple is dark enough This is the color shell shock turbo dark and it goes on really nice. Check this out. You can already see the color shifting pearlescence going down already. It's almost fully covered. Just a few drops, thinned it out with flow improver. It's enough to do the whole kit. That's it. All right. I'll finish off the purple. And I'll move on to the silver and then the black. I'll take a quick shot of me airbrushing each color and then we'll go back to assembly. All right, see you in the next color.
All right, guys, this is it. The uh, finished repainting of Mazinga. Um, we went basics. Uh, we went with the Turbo Dark, shell shocked for the purple. For the silver, I used uh, Gaia notes, Starbright aluminum. And on the black, I went with uh, metal black. It's, a, it's kind of a pearlescent black for Mr. Hobby's aqueous lineup. Very good paint. And um, for panel lining, we went with AK Interactive's panel liner. That's for black camouflage. That's why it's light. It's a light gray. And uh, this is a, a muddy, dark, muddy, blackish color for in between here on the chest. I'll show you in a second. And for the legs, we went with uh, uh, Ammo by Meg's oil brusher. Oops, out of camera shot there. Oil brusher. Uh, I did a video that I posted just before this. Uh, it's an oil base, a thick oil base. Paint takes a while to dry because it's oil, but it covers it. The pigments are so heavy that it covers dark colors and wide areas really well. And I'll show you right now with a close-up. It was all uh, in here. You can see how wide that is. You could have hand painted it, but um, to to get uh, regular paint silver, I had to thin it quite a bit. And then again, it was so thinned out that it wouldn't uh, the silver wouldn't cover the purple. So I went with that thick oiler. It's probably still not dry. I won't touch it. It takes a while for oil paints to dry. I did even the bottom of the feet. Yeah, just it came out great. That's the purple. As I said, it looks like this in the jar. But this is how it, it, it sprayed. Uh, I went right over the original purple. It was dark, almost black, the purple. You know what the original Mazinga looks like. Uh, for the back, all I did was dull coat. You can see it. I matte coated the whole wings, just took them off together. And I left the red as it was. It looks good. I didn't want to go crazy. I was just showing guys a basic way of taking a kit that I built out of the box. Just cut it and put it together because I was in between moving to a new home. And I was just working on the kitchen table. I didn't even have the spray booth set up. So at this point, you can go back once you guys are in a situation like me where you can, you're can you now able to start airbrushing or even spray cans. And uh, then you can go in. Uh, this was silver. This was all plastic. Now it looks great. It doesn't have that plastic look to it. Even the, the purple, the, the black is all airbrushed. It has a beautiful metal look to it. Even that's... Um, and the silver, all of it was painted. I didn't paint the joints. You guys don't have to paint the joints. Usually on Bandai kits, you'll have a nice gray color for your joints anyway. And you don't really see many of the joints on this kit. I did did the panel lining uh, in between the silver with this. And then wiped it off. And it came right off the silver because the the silver's a lacquer. That's an enamel. When you, when you go with different types of paints over the other, you can usually wipe it right off clean. But that's it. You can take an old kit. Oh, and one more mention is, good thing I kept I kept the instructions in the box. I keep my boxes in storage. Good thing, because it, it came in handy to tear it apart. And I, and I had to separate left and right. So I could see how to put it back together quickly and easily. Simply by the fact that I kept the instructions. And thank God I did, because uh, some of them, some of those joints, they're so slight. But they are different pieces. And when you want to get it right, when you put it back together, you don't want to ruin the thing after finally... Uh, taking it apart to paint it but uh that's it that's a simple way i wanted to show you guys you can repaint an old kit that you didn't paint at all now your skills have probably gotten better at uh painting and you can make your old kits look great and uh that's it off to the next video and uh as i said watch the video before this i posted and, and i'll show you how i oil brushed i did it on the camera and um you can probably pick yourself so these things are like three or four bucks a piece i think they're dirt cheap uh, that one came in a three pack, and they also make them for mecha. You know, so you can see there's a mecha on this. You can get blues and reds. You can get all kinds of colors uh, based on what mecha you want to use. But get your blacks and your silvers. That's all you really need. And uh, that's it for now. Uh, planning the next video. Um, I did get a bunch of new stuff in, a bunch of kits, curios, and uh, a whole bunch of kits. So we'll be going through that. Maybe I'll do an unboxing video next. But anyway. Good luck, guys. Let me know what kit you guys decide to uh, tear apart and repaint. And uh, let me know. Post it up here, and I will take a look at it. Have a good day, guys.